Alright, now with this gun loaded, let's switch to the slightly cooler one. Oh my gosh. This thing is so cool. Oh. <laughs> so, this is the 45, the first 45 gun to ever be put in Tarkov. You guys know that they actually had 3D models for 45 vectors as well, right? Ooh, those iron sights are very 45. Ooh, I'm excited to use this. I don't know why. This game does guns so good, and especially coming to one of my favorite handguns. 1911 is probably one of the guns that I've shot the most in real life. I haven't shot as much as you guys probably think, but this this handgun, I've, oh, I've had some fun with these. These are super fun. They have a lot of kick and uh, are a little bit harder to control than your 9mm, in my opinion, but they are fun. They are very fun, and this is an iconic gun. I mean, this is was used in World War One, World War Two, still being used today. It's kind of nuts that a handgun can stay in service in militaries for that long. Um, just like another gun, this is why I brought the second gun along today, the Mosin. <laughs> also a gun that's extremely still used today and uh, has been used for a very, very long time. I don't really know much of the history behind the 1911. But, uh, man. It's, I mean, it's a Colt. I know that. I know that one. It's a 45. I know that one, too. Um, there's hideous versions of it made for Airsoft. I know that for sure. There's no, like, Airsoft companies, they're like, make a standard 1911? <coughs> what did you say? No. We will put the glossiest finish on it and make it all shiny like it's out of a a Japanese anime. Not that Japanese animes are bad. Neon Genesis was great, okay? Alright? Alright, I watched that one. It was alright. It was pretty good. I really want to use the 1911 on like a scav. Apparently, I think, this has 72 flesh damage. Which means, if I'm not wrong... Whoa! Means that it can uh, black an arm in one shot. Oh, he's got, he's got a... Uh, He's got a vest on. Probably gonna reload. This really does not have the mag capacity. Man, this feels good to shoot. Oh, he moved. I also took a hit right then. I'm gonna heal whatever he hit. He hit, oh wait, what? Oh, he hit me in the chest. So my M2 blocked it. I can hear him wheezing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, those leg shots, man. Let's, let's shoot it for a second. Let's just listen to the purely the sound effect. Like, oh, it's such a, like, a slappy. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That, that, that's very reminiscent of what it sounds like. Just like a slightly more, oh, it's almost like the TT pistol in the game. A slightly more powerful pistol than the others in terms of like how much powder and how much recoil is actually going in your hand. You know, does does the sound match the gun? I, I don't really know if it does, but I don't know. It's up to you guys. What do you think? Okay. It's got to be a scav. Am I just going to unload a little bit here, boys? Should we do it? What? Wow, slow fire rate. Slow fire rate. I was spamming like I was going to shoot a 5.7 into him, but man. Ooh, that shotgun hurt. What did it do to us? Ouch. I think it must have hit us just in the... No, I guess it hit us in the... Oh, it hit us in the right arm and blacked it so bad. Jeez, one shotgun shot. Look at that. And people say shotguns are underpowered. It's like, bro, in that point blank, even if you hit an arm... This guy could have shot me one more time in the arm. I'd probably be dead. Alright, and this is why AI-2s are good. Because they're super cheap, and they replenish a lot. Heal a 
all that up and then we'll be good to go again. Yeah, so that's a slightly slower fire rate, so you can't spam your mouse with it like you can other pistols in this game. You just can't. It does not have the uh, fire rate for that. You kind of have to slow down your mouse clicks. But I don't know how many shots actually killed him. I would guess two. Because uh, unless we hit him in the arm, which we might have, then we would have done... Oh, oh, hello? We would have done 70 two damage to the chest, and then a second shot would have definitely killed him. So unless he's wearing armor, two shots to the chest, and they're dead. Which is pretty sick. Ponyo, ponyo. Doesn't ponyo mean thank you? Yeah, two shots to the chest. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Having a two shot to the chest pistol and just with it being a 1911 is just extra cool. I don't even care about the stats or like the damage. I honestly think the damage is really high and I'm very happy it's that high. Because it is a seven round magazine. They're going to have to figure out how to uh, balance that in a way, you know. Alright, let's get out of here. We've attracted a little bit too much attention. Gonna get shot by a shotgun or something from a scab that picks up one of their shotguns. Ooh, he runs super fast. We're really lightweight. I feel like I'm running faster than I did before as well. Um, but man, this is nice. I love the lower mag capacity pistols. I feel like they're easier to understand. You can, even during a firefight, you know how many rounds you have left in the magazine. And if you really focus on that, you can really place your shots well. And Man, two shot to the chest if they have no armor. That is awesome. And I think, so it's 72 damage and then 19 pin. So it's not going to pin a lot. It's 45 ACP FMJ. It really is. That's going to pin maybe level two. It's definitely going to start getting stopped a lot by level threes, though. So I'd be interested to see what 19 pin 72 damage does to, let's say a level 3 uh, press vest or or a Karasa. Something like that. I'd be very interested to see how much damage it does. Because I'm not exactly sure about the ballistics of like the lower ends like that. I think if it was 20 damage, it would start being effectively able to penetrate uh, level 3s, if I'm not wrong. Oh, oh. He's either up above or he's right here. I think there's a lot of them above. I was wrong. Woo! Jeez, thank God he missed both of his shots. I was missing a few too. Woo! Okay, so... Six out of seven. Oh, I guess that's magazine capacity. I guess I... Technically, you could have... You could have seven out of seven, right? Yeah, that's what we want. So make sure to always reload twice. <laughs> Just to have... Truly, seven rounds in the mag and then one in the chamber instead of six rounds in the mag and one in the chamber. Ooh, what is that? What the? Oh, it's a hand drill. It looked like a like a um, like the revolver grenade launchers, the forty mics. Okay, I don't think the power's on yet, so I uh, Kiba's still a no go. Man, that's awesome. Oh, I want to use this against players, though. Where are the players at? Come on. I'm over at Kiba. Come on. Come fight. Someone's got to be awake. I know it's late night in Texas. Somebody's got to be awake, though. Come on. There's a big battle going on. There's a Mosin. There's even a Mosin. There must be a scab shooting at him, too. Oh, man. Turning to Will Smith shooting at the mannequin. <gasps> Power is on. Someone turned on the power in, like, the last few minutes. Uh, sure, 
I'll take you. Nope. Yep. Sure. I don't know, man. Ooh, sure, yes. Yes. Uh... So somebody is in this raid. Somebody. There's a dude out there. Where is he? Is that a PBSH mag? That's the one I need. That's these are like worth a few million right now. I think. I think. I ho no no no. That's the Makarov one, isn't it? I blacked his leg. I know that much. Have a short fuse. Oh, there's two. There's two of them. Okay, we'll have to take this a little bit more, uh, Interesting, then. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 you're getting me away. One had BT or T ammo. I think an AKS or something. It sounded louder than a usual AK. I think the AKS is also like slightly louder. Just because the shorter barrel, maybe. IDK. That grenade blew the heck out of this glass over here. Okay, if there's scavs, which there's a good chance they're scavs. I'm not sure, but there's a good chance. Then they would have had to go to Mantis to get meds, right? And we're late to the raid. Oh no. No, please no camping people at the White Tower over there. Please no. All right, let me lean forwards after that long wait for hopefully a full server. Was that at me? Looking him in the eye. Can I hit him in the face? Shit. Wow, I suck with this. Okay, sights might be slightly off when aiming angled. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, offensive. At least it wasn't like the shotgun early that blacked everything else. Uh oh, I'm bleeding. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oops. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna lose this rise, I get it. Aren't I? Oh god, yep, I totally am. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop the bleed. Yes. them shooting me. This boy's sneaky. He's sneaky. Oh, he 
he's totally silent. Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm excited. He is totally silent. <gasps> Not totally. Don't walk away. Oh, I see the scav down there. I think he went towards Immercom Donut to go check. He's still playing the library. Okay. Did I get him? Got him. Oh, he was playing so good, too. He was being sneaky. Oh, I feel bad. I've, after all the people I've tried to kill, I kill a level four. I can't believe it. I don't feel any, any of the excitement I had 30 seconds ago. <laughs> There's a dude right here, though. There's another player. Separate team entirely. No clue where he is. <laughs> hey, a soda. Nice. Okay. There's a There's the player, there's the player. Leg time. How do you like your legs? Broken? I can make that happen. Now I have super sharp vision. I can defeat anyone now. Got him through the wood. There was a scav with his head poking up above that crate, and it was. He was about to get me. Where'd this dude go, though? He disappeared. We didn't kill him. Oh my god, the sharpness. Did 
What's the scav? No, I don't want to shoot you, scav. I want to shoot the player. There's a player over there. Where, where's the player? I don't think we could have killed him. I am very confident we did not kill that player. So where'd he go? Oh god, the painkillers are so sharp in my eyes. I feel like my vision is made of lasers and knives and sh other, other sharp things. Oh wait, oh, oh, he's dead. Okay. Scav, come here. You got him. We did it together. I don't even understand how... Pajikwiki. Come on. Okay, so this should be like a Vepper Hunter? An AK... Another level 4?! No! I need to find their meds. So I am going to take their backpack to find extra meds off the second guy. He didn't even have... I don't even think he had armor. Or no, he, he had a paka. Oh no. I didn't just kill two dudes. What did I... Did I... um? Oh, we didn't get the dog tag. Did he come into the raid with that Taz? No, he had his mags in his backpack. This was the poorest man on earth and I'm taking 1300 rubles from him. Oh no. I feel so bad after like, try hard sweaty. Hold up. Maybe not. PP91? Oh no. Did he bring a PP91 for the Sega 9? <gasps> oh, I heard him earlier. Oh no, he was so sneaky. Good job, dude. Good job, we deserve that after killing two level fours. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that guy was so sneaky. I thought I heard something earlier, like a little walk, but then he just crouch snuck the whole rest of the way. Good job on him. Good job, bro. You deserve the Gen 5, Gen 4. Oh man. So, what do I think of the 1911 after actually getting PMC kills? Oh, we didn't even kill the other guy. The, actually, we only got one. We only killed one. The, the, the scav finished off the other PMC, but he was he was not going to win that fight after we got his legs. For sure. A level I'm very confident. No matter what stupid st stuff I would have done. A player with their legs blacked and they don't know how to fix it. Poor guys. Okay, well, after using the 1911 for a little bit tonight... Um, it's a very, very difficult gun to use. Um, I would say most definitely harder than the 5.7. Uh, in nine times out of 10, you are going to kill people faster with a 5.7 than you are with the 45. I still think that most of the pistols in the game are kind of just unusable. The 5.7 is the only one that's really rational to use. Um, but that doesn't mean that the 45 isn't fun. That doesn't mean that this pistol is bad. I just think that uh, it's, it's very situational because that seven round magazine, I think, you know, you're, you're paying $131 for this pistol, which is more, I believe, than the, yeah, 135 is more than the M9. It's more than the P226. That's crazy that the M9 is less than the P226. I don't know why that would be. Um, recoil maybe, 475, 500, ah, okay, yeah. Um, but I, um, I think the jump from... 1911 to 5.7 is insane. I mean, with the 5.7, you have, I think, 20-round magazines. 
you can just spam that thing as fast as you want. The recoil is very low, 320 compared to 514. Um, so the 1911 is really good if you land that one shot on the leg, you really stun them, and you're able to put more ammo down quickly. Or, obviously, as we showcase in this video, Packas, dude, 1911 tears right through Packas. 19 pin is just enough that it goes, basically almost ignores the Packa and goes right through. Those, that one guy that we killed in the hallway, I think we were shooting him in the chest because that Packa was pretty damaged, and we were able to kill him pretty quickly. So, um, my final thoughts about the 1911, pretty dang cool. Pretty dang cool. This is in Tarkov. I mean, it's just cool. I don't know. I love the 1911. It's such a pretty looking pistol. It has such a heritage and history to it. Um, its usability is definitely difficult. I think with modifications like extended magazines, um, suppressors for sure, I think this gun is going to be one of the most powerful pistols in the game forever. Um, it'll just be right under that 5.7. That 5.7 is just so, so good. Um, so I'm excited to see how this weapon performs with rip ammo which is already here so if you guys want to try out rip ammo do so um we were just doing it with 45 acp fmj today um so definitely interested to see how we would have fought right then with rip ammo instead but rip ammo is full leg meta full arm meta like that's going to be really difficult for people to um do you can't it, it's not like it's not like leg meta with with a souped up M4 that has nothing but um, warmage ammo in it, you know, that sort of thing, where you have a lot of flesh damage that can be put down range with low recoil. This is more of a pow, pow, pow sort of leg meta. Like it's slow and you have to shoot slow. If you're if you're not the first person firing, you're already in trouble with the 1911 because it's just the fire rate plus the insane amount of recoil is really, really tough to work with. But if you hit those shots, 72 damage per shot. So scav killing, I think this is a great scav killing gun. I think once I can put a suppressor on this thing, this will be my secondary for every sniper kit or every, you know, big, big kitted up setup. So if I have an M4 with nothing but 995 in it or something, then I can, I can have a 1911 with a, with a suppressor and it's a cheap scav destroyer without having to waste 995. So I would have, you know, an M4 like this which has 9 and 5 in it, which is $8 per round. If I shoot that scav, that scav is not going to have anything worth $8 because I'm going to have to shoot him maybe four or five times with 9 and 5 until he really goes down. So having a 1911 with a suppressor, oh my god, pull out that big boy and just thwap, thwap, and boom, scav is dead. All you used was $2 worth of ammo compared to, what, 35 or something? I don't know. I didn't do the math there, but... I think uh, definitely an M1911 has a place for situational um, things. And it, it is a sidearm. You can see it's a sidearm. It's not a primary rifle. Don't go into raids with only a 1911 and expect to win fights. I think the only pistol you can really do that with is a fully modded 5.7 at the moment. Um, I don't even know if I have a fully modded 5.7. I mean, here's one right here. The 5.7 is just so, so good, fully modded. Um, so yeah, that's my final thoughts. Thanks for coming to my video tonight guys and uh, enjoying me walking around aimlessly trying to find people to kill at 3 a.m. in Texas. But yeah, that was the 1911. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.